Hello everybody, Conti calling here with another video. How to create a phone call sound effect in DaVinci Resolve. Go to left click once on your Fairlight icon. Go to File, Import File and Import Media to find the sound file that you wish to modify in this project. After finding your MP3 file in your File Explorer window, left click once on the Media Pool icon inside your Fairlight interface if this is not already highlighted. Go to the thumbnail of the file that you have just inserted. Left click on the icon, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor to the timeline which appears to the side. Let go of your left mouse button once your mouse cursor is over the track for Audio 1. Use the horizontal slider to the right to increase the size of your edit on screen so that this is easier to see. Go to Effects Library. Left click once. Inside the Effects Library panel, go to Audio Effects and Distortion. Left click once, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the edit on your Audio 1 timeline. Let go of your left mouse button once your cursor is over the track. Close down the distortion window which appears by left clicking once on the cross in the top left corner. Left click on Inspector to open up a new panel. Scroll down the panel until you get to Distortion. Apply the following settings to your distortion effect. High cut should be set to 20k. Low cut should be set to 25. Mode, Distort, Level, 90. Ceiling, 0. Dry wet, 76. Output level, 0. Auto level, ticked. I'm going to left click on Media Pool to close this panel and increase the size of the Effects Library section. Underneath Audio Effects once more, inside Fairlight Effects, go to Vocal Channel. Left click, hold your mouse button down and drag this on top of your edit on the timeline. As we did with the distortion effect. Apply the following settings to your vocal channel effect. High pass, equalizer and compressor should all be selected, which will be indicated by the red circles in each of the selection boxes. Left click once inside the boxes to change these settings. A grey circle signifies its deactivation. Left click again to change this to red and position the circle to the right will indicate that this high pass setting is activated, for example. Frequency is set to 20. High pass in is selected. Mid Q is unticked. And HF shape is deselected. Low frequency is set to 330. Mid frequency is set to 8200. High frequency is set to 5000, low gain minus 17, mid gain 16, high gain minus 18. Threshold is set to minus 25.6, ratio to 1.5, reaction 0, gain 3. Left click once on the cross in the top left corner of your vocal channel window to close this once you have applied these settings. Left click once on mixer. Underneath Mixer, identify EQ under A1, which is the track where our edit is positioned inside. Main 1 refers to the audio settings for the entire project. In this case here, we are going to focus on Audio Track 1. If you are not able to see EQ underneath A1, this may be due to your window having the meters section open as well, which you can see if the word meters is highlighted in white. Left click on this icon once to close this and the EQ settings for your audio tracks should appear above Audio 1. Double left click on the rectangle with the blue line through the middle alongside EQ to open up your equalizer window. I have four circled numbers appearing. Numbers 1 and 6 do not appear as these have not been selected inside my equalizer panel. 2, 3, 4 and 5 have been selected and therefore appear in the middle of my screen on the blue line. 
I'm going to lift click once on two, hold my mouse button down and drag this just above the plus 10 mark on the gain reader on the left hand side. I will now drag this to the right just before the halfway point of the grid. The settings below the grid should be updated automatically. Rearrange the other circles on your grid so that you have the following wave pattern which starts high on the left, goes down to the midsection point, halfway across the grid and finishes off with a smooth curve and straight line just below minus 10. With the line creating a similar shape on both sides of the midpoint. Note how these circles are in similar positions as well. Number three being a rectangle and a half away from the point where the wave crosses over into the bottom half of the grid, the same as four. Number two is positioned almost two and a half rectangles up from the midpoint, whereas five is two and a half rectangles down. Left click once on the cross in the top left corner to close this window down and left click once on the play icon at the top of your Fairlight window to test your audio. You should see the two video files that you have inserted. If the film clip you are editing in DaVinci Resolve features a person listening to a recording through the loudspeaker on a phone for example, for a sharper sound effect simply disable the equalizer. Do this by double clicking on the EQ section underneath the relevant audio track and left clicking once on the box containing the red circle next to the equalizer label in the top left corner of your window. You should see the two video files that you have inserted. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that tutorial was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for using my service. Goodbye.